Welcome to Politics 101. Today's topic, is it too early for 2016 election polls? With a little over a year and a half before the 2016 Iowa caucuses, there have already been several polls released of prospective candidates. Now with many prospects still wondering whether to run or not, there are a few more prominent than others. On the Democratic side, the frontrunners are current Vice President of the United States Joe Biden and former United States Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Now beginning with Joe Biden, he might be just too polarizing for the Democratic side. With some constituents unpleased with the Obama administration, Biden may not be the best fit. Biden might have supporters on his side, but his chances of winning are not high due to the lack of individuality. For the last eight years, he has ultimately been in President Obama's shadow, and voters want somebody new and different. Hillary Clinton would prove a far tougher general election contender than Biden. Despite last year's attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, the Democratic Party and Americans have had time to forgive and forget. She maintains widespread respect. The former Secretary of State has a strong domestic and foreign political background. Although it's been a four-year hiatus since Hillary served in office, she still stands as a stronger candidate for the Democratic Party. Moving over to the Republican side, the spotlight is on former Governor of Florida Jeb Bush and current Governor of New Jersey Chris Christie. Now, although Christie told the Huffington Post it would be stressful to run against his friend Jeb, Jeb, too, is like Biden, living in his father and brother's shadow. The Republican Party has already experienced the philosophy and policymaking from the Bush administration, and they are looking for somebody more stable and assertive, like Chris Christie, who is more charismatic, more outgoing. Christie might be dealing with the scandal of lane closures on the George Washington Bridge, but it is not enough to keep voters from supporting him. Christie has more face time in the media, and if he makes it to the primary, he can prove himself. Right now, things are fluid, but once these 2014 midterm elections are over, the primary season starts, and the race for the White House begins in earnest. For Politics 101, I'm Alex Savaios.